Let's say today is time 0, and at the end of a certain time period, call it period 1, you expect to receive a fixed amount of money, let's call it A dollars. Question is, what is the present value of this A dollars today at time 0? The answer depends on the applicable interest rate for the period, also called the periodic interest rate R. Discounting A dollars over period 1, we get the present value at time 0 denoted by PV equal to A dollars divided by 1 plus the discount rate R. Now suppose you expect to receive A dollars at the end of each of next two periods. To calculate the present value of these two cash flows, we will first have to discount the A dollars that we will get at the end of period 1, like we just did. And then the second payment of A dollars will have to be discounted over two periods. So the present value of these two cash flows at time 0 equals A dollars discounted at the periodic interest rate R, so we divide this by a factor of 1 plus R, plus the second cash flow of A dollars received at the end of second period, discounted over two periods using the periodic interest rate R. This can also be rewritten as A dollars received at the end of first period, divided by 1 plus R, plus A dollars received at the end of second period, divided by 1 plus R r square. Now suppose you receive a dollars at the end of each period for next n periods. The present value of this stream of cash flows equals first cash flow discounted at the periodic interest rate r plus the second cash flow of a dollars divided by 1 plus r square because we're discounting over two periods. Similarly, third cash flow of A dollars is discounted over three periods, and so on and so forth. And finally, the final cash flow of A dollars is discounted over n periods. And this equals A times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the power n and this whole expression is divided by R. This stream of fixed cash flows over a specified period of time is called an annuity, also known as ordinary annuity. And this is how we calculate the present value of an n-period annuity. Now what if you receive these periodic payments indefinitely. This stream of fixed cash flows received indefinitely is called a perpetuity. And the present value of a perpetuity equals first cash flow discounted at the periodic interest rate R plus the second cash flow divided by 1 plus R square plus so on and so forth, including nth cash flow discounted over n periods, and so on, which equals A divided by R. This is how we calculate the present value of a perpetuity. So far, in calculating the present value of both annuity and perpetuity, we have assumed a constant periodic payment of A dollars. Now what if this payment grows at a constant growth rate equal to G, so that at the end of period 1, the amount that you expect to receive is A dollars, but in period 2, this amount grows at a growth rate G, so that the final amount received is A dollars times 1 plus G. Now this amount grows by a factor of 1 plus G, so the amount received in third period equals A times 1 plus G squared, and so on and so forth 
until period n when the amount received equals a times 1 plus g to the power n minus 1. This is called a growing annuity. And its present value equals first cash flow of A dollars discounted at periodic interest rate R plus the second cash flow of A times 1 plus G dollars divided by 1 plus R square because it's discounted over two periods plus so on and so forth until nth cash flow which equals A times 1 plus G to the power n minus one dollars discounted at the periodic interest rate r over n periods and this equals a divided by r minus g times one minus one plus g divided by one plus r to the power n so this formula helps us calculate the present value of a growing annuity now what if this stream of growing payments has an infinite life? In other words, it's a growing perpetuity. In that case, the present value equals A divided by R minus G. This is the present value of a growing perpetuity. This result is very useful in valuing equities and we make use of it when discussing Gordon growth model for stock valuation. So in this video, we have discussed what an annuity and a perpetuity is, as well as covered growing annuity and growing perpetuity. We have also shown how to calculate present value of these instruments. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post.